Well, the last couple days I have been working on the boat. We're ready to go, everything's rigged out. Pretty excited, today is the day that we do it. We put it in the water today. On the way to Lake Fork, of course it's been beautiful for like a week straight. And then today, <laughs> it's New Year's Day. We've got overcast. The truck says the outside temperature is 52 degrees. And uh, it's supposed to blow like 10 to 15 out of the south. I think I can get away from it or I can get some smooth water up there on Fork, kind of run up the east arm and all that. But I'm going to the lake, the maiden voyage, gonna put the boat in the water for the very first time. And I'm gonna try to get through the first two hours of break-in, which I try to follow it. I try to do the break-in by the book. to do it all in one shot and what I mean by that is turn that key on and run it for the two hour break-in period following the manual and getting it all done and ready to go in just in one in one full shot without turning off the engine okay we're here at the boat ramp Lake Fork is looking a little bit rough it's definitely white capping out there but I think I can go this way when I'm breaking in a boat I like to have it pretty smooth out I don't want a bunch of chop. You know, it's something where I want to just kind of take my time and just have the motor sitting at a kind of constant, even level as I'm riding out and breaking in the boat and spending a lot of seat time with trying to seat the rings. There's also, uh, I've got my, my Mercury manual and um, I like to try to find that. There's a break-in procedure in here that uh, tells you how to do it. So. I've got that out and ready. Kill switch, life jack. I'm gonna go ahead and take off my tie down. It started to spit out here on the way over. Gosh, I really don't wanna be trying to break in a boat in the rain. That's not any fun. I put the plug in, got my new TH Marine motor stays. that off those things really do a nice job of keeping the motor straight as we tow down the road take that off there there we go transom saver definitely not the prettiest day for getting out on the water it's not really bad it's a little bit of white cap but it's not terrible we're ready got the life jacket got everything in and on let's put her in the water Okay, gonna go ahead and hit the key here. On a Ranger, it's actually a button. Let her idle for just a few seconds. The little water stream up out of the water there. We'll just let that warm up for just a second before we pull out. Power up my Lowrance. Because I'm gonna shoot through the whole transducer, so something to see the bottom as I run down the lake. Okay, idling away from the boat ramp. I'm gonna try to go kind of north and east. Try to stay away from the white caps and wind. Kind of a nice, smooth maiden voyage here. I've got my Mercury Smartcraft gauge and we've got a trip time right there. It's warming her up a little bit. It's kind of a cold day. It's like 50 degrees out. And we're trimmed down. And I'm going to keep her trimmed down as well. Because I want to keep a lot of pressure on the... I want to put a lot of force on it so that you've got the ability to seat the rings. So here we go. Two hours.
six hours into it, 0.4 more hours to go. It's cold out here. I'd like to get through this two hours so I can get into that next eight. And I'd like to get these first two hours done all in one shot. Almost there. Well, we got it done. <laughs> it's almost, well, I think it's 10 minutes from sunset. Though it is pretty dark because of the overcast. Hopefully you guys can even see me. On my Smartcraft gauge is showing the two hour mark there. Officially through that break in period. Which that next eight hours is a little more liberal, so woohoo, mission accomplished. Mid voyage was nice. Didn't really get to open her up wide and trim it out and really air it out, but I'm looking forward to that. I've only got like four rods and four boxes in here, so we gotta put some tackle in here and that'll be next. Appreciate you guys coming along for this trip. I'm gonna go put it on the trailer. <laughs>